So I just read an article, all right, and in it, it said that if your main goal is increasing testosterone, then flaxseed is your worst nightmare, all right? Now, on one side, we have men writing that flaxseed is a testosterone killer. On the other, we have people writing about how it's a superfood. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you both sides of the arguments, go over the research, and then you can make a decision for yourself based on the evidence-based truth. All right, so first off, why is flaxseed considered a testosterone killer? All right, so flaxseed contains lignans, and lignans are a class of compounds known as phytoestrogens, all right? And this is basically a chemical compound which plants release in response to defense against herbivores that try to eat them. Now, phytoestrogens are structurally similar to estrogen, all right? And this is why flaxseed is written off as having highly estrogenic effects on the male body. But let's take a look at what the research actually has to say. All right, so in this first study that I've seen being cited in response to flaxseed being a testosterone killer was actually a single case study that was performed in a woman who was 31 years old, suffering from a condition known as, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's something like hermaphroditism or some shit like that. And basically that's a condition where a woman is producing unusually high amounts of testosterone to the extent where she starts developing secondary male sexual characteristics like, glow, like growing facial hair and stuff like that. So in this single case study, the woman was given 30 grams of flaxseed for four months and after this period her total testosterone level dropped by something like 80 percent and her free testosterone level dropped by something similar as well all right like 70 to 80 percent and this is why a lot of people have been writing online that flaxseed is a testosterone killer but i'm sure you see the problem with this case study all right first of all it was only performed in one woman second of all it was performed in a woman so obviously men and women respond to compounds differently and third of all she's suffering from an endocrine disorder, all right? So there's no saying whether the same effect will carry over in otherwise healthy men as well. All right, so in the second study, 25 men with uh, prostate cancer were given 30 grams of flaxseed for an average of 34 days. And after this time period, their total testosterone level dropped by something like 15%, and their free testosterone level dropped by something like 20%. And this is another study that I've been seeing cited in uh, support of flaxseed being a testosterone killer. But again, there are a few points for us to consider, all right? The first is that these men were suffering from prostate cancer, so there's no saying whether consumption of flaxseed would affect men who don't have prostate cancer to the same extent. Secondly, and this point is often left out in many of these articles that I read, is that along with being given flaxseed, these men were also switched over to a low fat diet, all right? Now you obviously know that dietary fat is very important for testosterone production, so there's no saying whether it was the flaxseed or the low fat intake that led to the drop in testosterone, all right? So correlation in this case cannot be assumed to be a causation because there's some other factor being held as well, all right? And a third case study that I found in terms of uh, flaxseed being a testosterone killer was actually a student at some university who was writing his own case study. He was a professional, not professional, I mean college level athlete or something like that. And he wrote that he was consuming something like 80 to 150 grams of flaxseed almond butter every single day, all right? And then when he got his testosterone level measured, it was something like 300 nanograms per deciliter. Then after he stopped and cut out his flaxseed consumption, Two weeks later, his testosterone level elevated to over 600 nanograms per deciliter. So in just two weeks of cutting out flaxseed consumption, his testosterone level almost, or actually more than doubled. But once again, there are a few more points for us to consider, all right? The first is that this is just anecdotal evidence. It was not performed in a lab or anything like that. It was just some uh, case study that the, the student published on his own personal blog, all right? And secondly, is that the student was consuming more than 150 grams of flaxseed every single day, all right? That's way more than, that's actually five, more than five times the amount of the 30 gram, uh, typical dose of 30 grams. So again, I mean, too much of anything can be a bad thing, but of course he was consuming way too much. So there's not really any conclusive evidence that we can draw from this case study, all right? So that's about all the research I was able to find in terms of flaxseed and its effects on lowering testosterone levels. Again, there's not much research that has been published on this topic, but based on the current state of research, 
that is what it says, all right? So there's no concluding whether or not flaxseed would have such a dramatic effect on your testosterone levels or not. And that being said, now let's look at the case being made for why flaxseed might be considered a superfood. All right, so just some of the benefits of uh, flaxseed include controlling blood sugar, lowering cholesterol, uh, they're a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, they control blood pressure, and they reduce the risk of diabetes, all right? So they control insulin to some extent. And these are just five of many of the reasons that flaxseed is being considered a superfood, all right? And it's because they're very nutrient dense and they can fight off inflammation in the body. All right, so in conclusion, flaxseed and its testosterone lowering effects can be narrowed down to the fact that flaxseed contains a rich source of lignans, which are a class of compounds known as phytoestrogens, which are structurally similar to estrogen, all right? But based on the current stage of research, we can't say that the estrogenic influence is too strong. But also based on, even though there's not enough evidence, I don't consume flaxseed, I never will. But I mean, it's up to you whether you want to or not. But I'm just saying that based on the research, there's not enough conclusive evidence that the effects are that strong. I'll leave you with this, all right? If you are concerned about naturally increasing your testosterone, then there are many other factors for you to be more concerned about rather than the effect of any individual food like flaxseed, for example. And to help you with that, I put together a free blueprint, all right? And it goes over five of the most critical factors that I focused on to naturally increase my own testosterone level from 564 to 902 nanograms per deciliter. And it's all by focusing on these five simple steps, all right? So to get access to this blueprint, click on the link below. It says free blueprint, it'll open up in another page enter your email address and then that will send you the blueprint all right and if you focus on these five factors i'm positive that if you take action on them as well that you will move towards a life of more energy health vitality very very soon all right with all that being said this has been mo salim i hope that this video provided you with the answer you were looking for and i'll talk to you soon